Okay. <clears throat> so a floating exchange rate could possibly correct any international trade imbalance between two countries in the following way. So what do we mean by floating exchange rate? In which we let play the market forces of demand and supply. And there is minimum intervention from the government or negligible. So how? First, a deficit in a country balance of trade suggests that the country is spending more funds on foreign products than it, it's receiving from exports. Right? So because the country is exchanging its currency in a greater volume than the foreign demand for its currency, this might place downward pressure on the currency of the currency value. Which means our exchange rate gonna decrease. And what happened once a country's home currency value declines in response to its forces, it should attract more foreign demands for its product in future. Now what's going on here? So that's just the, you know, I just read out this paragraph and now I want you to understand. Let me share this whiteboard. Erase all. So we already know that if Forex rises or your currency rises, what happened? The current account decreases. So are you guys seeing this white screen? Yeah. Can you yes. yes. We know from our previous discussion that if Forex increase or foreign exchange increases, or exchange rate increases, right? What happened? Our current account decreases. decreases, right? And why this happens? Because when our currency is expensive, then our exports decreases, our imports rises, our imports rises, why? Because now we can afford more foreign products. So we import more. And now the question is how a country which is already in deficit, it can balance its trade deficit automatically. It's a natural remedy, the exchange rate. How? Let's see that. So what happened? Country already in deficit. I think that would be very nice if I just give you here. Now, country is in deficit. Deficit means imports are greater than export. export. Okay. When country is importing more than exports, what's happening to the currency? We are talking about US and UN and you are in US. This is very important for you guys to understand where you are. Otherwise, all the concept will be mixed. So what happened? Country is in deficit. What does it mean by deficit? You are importing more and exporting less. So what happened? People which have yuan, they are sending more yuan to convert into dollar. Oh, sorry. People have more dollar. I am confused myself.
So we are in US. And there is a deficit. It means we are importing more than exports. And what happened? People are sending their dollars, converting into yuan, and receiving Chinese product. Right? So what happened to the Forex? Or exchange rate? You need to connect this, defini this, this deficit to the exchange rate. People are buying more imports, imported product. And for important product, what they are doing, they are selling their dollar for yuan, yuan to buy product and receive product, right? So recall your economics concept. If supply, what happened to my pen here? Are you still seeing the whiteboard? No. no, no Oh. Okay, now you see that? Yes. Okay, because I just accidentally pressed two or three fingers on the screen, that's why. Okay. Now you can see that? Yes. Okay, now recall yep. economics. If supply of something is higher, what will happen? Price? If the supply, if the quantity increase, quantity supply increase, price decrease. Decreases. Law of supply is that, uh, sorry, that is law of demand and supply together. If supply of one thing is, quantity supply increases, price decreases. So what's happening here to the foreign exchange rate? People are importing goods. selling their dollars to yuan. So dollar price depreciate, understand? When dollar price depreciate, what happened? It's more cheaper for the out outsiders to purchase US goods because Currency decreased. And what happened? Deficit? It's going to be reversed. Why? How? The exports start rising. And because our currency is decreased, now it is more costly for us to buy imported goods. So our imports start decreasing. And we are heading towards surplus. Should I repeat one more time? Some countries do that on purpose, like uh, no, no, clear. Decreasing the value of their currency. Now tell me one more time because I cannot hear you properly. Can a, a certain country easily decrease or? or you can write the value you can write on the chat i will he is asking can a country easily decrease or increase the currency okay thank you exchange rate okay thank the you, exchange you. rate cannot be easily manipulated because exchange rate if you try to move exchange it with one currency, then exchange rate will be disturbed with other currencies as well. Right? Because in a country, countries, there are not just two countries in the world. There are many other countries. We have, if okay, we have that makes Japan, sense. there are China, there are Korea, Japan. If you want to manage Forex, with just 
China, then your forex with Korea is also disturbed. Your forex with Japan is also disturbed. With Vietnam, with Germany, for everyone, it is disturbed. So it is really hard for a country to manage its forex with respect to just one country. A government can influence. All right, got it, sir. Answer is yes. Government can, the government can also manipulate the foreign exchange. Yes, but with certain limitation. In order to have just disturbing this equation of government must have enough yuan for this one as well. So, like we discussed in our economics, that supply and demand, the equilibrium. Uh, the the law of supply and demand together the equilibrium will be uh, the market will always revert to its equilibrium how Be due to demand and supply so what happened if 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 you if your currency appreciate then on the other hand your exports start decreasing when your exports start decreasing then what happened your imports starting increasing when you import more then what happened your currency start decreasing when your currency start decreasing then the law of demand and supply hold together we are moving in, into equilibrium due to increase in imports your currency start decreasing when currency start decreasing it's it is more cheaper of your products for the outside world and your export start rising it means by doing nothing, the exchange rate movements provide the natural remedy for any imbalancement between deficit. And I'm talking about bit deficit, current account deficit. So you understand? Yes. What we are doing now? Here. And now let's move to other. The exchange rate will not automatically correct any international trade balance when other forces are at work. What does it mean? So since the United States normally experienced large balance of trade deficit, the international trade follows should provide a downward pressure on the value of dollar. But we still see that the value of dollar is not decrease, right? US and China has a large deficit, more than $200 billion. I think it's crossed $400 billion. But still, the price of dollar is not decreased. So that's why I talk about talking about other things constant. So yet in many periods, there are more financial flows into US to purchase its, its securities than there is financial outflow. What does it mean, even though there's a large deficit, but still others are pumping US dollar into our economy, US economy as well. Why? Because they want to invest in US stock exchange. They want to, you know, purchase more loans in the form of dollar or many governments when they ask loan from other governments, they ask loan in dollars. So that is why there are less dollars that are going outwards than there are less than the dollars that are coming to the US economy. So that's why the exchange rates may not correct a balance of trade. Why? Because other things are also playing this game as well. How? Because the dollars are going out, they are less than the dollar that are coming in the economy. Understand? So these forces can offset the downward pressure on the dollar's value caused by the trade imbalance. 